What's up everybody, this is Andrew with Programming Liftoff and today we're going to learn how to deploy a Create React App website to GitHub Pages. We're going to be using Yarn for this tutorial, so if you don't have Yarn installed, you can install it with npm i-g yarn. And once that's installed, we can create our website. If you already have your website, you can skip this step, but I'm going to go ahead and create my website. So I'll type npx create react app and I'll call it hello world. And if you haven't used npx before, it comes with npm. So if you have npm, you have npx as well. And npx is the way Facebook recommends using create react app. The other method would be installing it globally, installing create react app globally. But um, using npx is a bit smoother and always ensures that you have the latest create react app. Alright, so once the site is created, we can go ahead and cd into that directory and run the server to make sure everything's working. So you can type cd hello world and then type yarn start to start the server. And then visit localhost 3000 in your web browser to make sure it's all working. All right, and our website is up and running, so we're good to go. So the next step will be creating our repository that we'll use for our GitHub Pages site. So to do that, you can go over to GitHub and create a new repository. And I'm going to name it GitHub Pages Create React App. You can name it anything you like. And then for the description, I'll say my create react app website and i'm going to leave this as a public repository you have to make it public you have to make a github pages site public unless you have a paid account so if you're not paying for github leave this on public and then go ahead and create the repository all right so next we'll do our first commit to this repository so to do that you can go back to your terminal and you can type control C to stop the web server. And then first we'll add a package that we'll be using to deploy to GitHub. So to do that, you can type yarn add gh pages. And then we'll type git add dot to add all our files to the commit. And then we'll type git commit dash m first commit. All right, and next you can push to the repository. So to do that, we'll need to copy these two commands from your repository and go ahead and paste them in the terminal. All right, so now that we've pushed to our repository, we can go here and refresh it. All right, and we can see our files are here. So now you can go to settings and scroll down to the GitHub pages section. And we'll set the source to the master branch for now. And that'll give us a URL for our GitHub Pages site. So we'll copy this and we'll use this in our package JSON config to set up deployments to this site. So to do that, we can go back to the terminal and open up this folder in your favorite editor. I'll use VS Code. And then open up the package JSON. So we're going to add a couple keys to this file. We'll start with the home page key. And for the value, you can paste in the URL to your GitHub Pages site. And then next, we'll add a couple scripts. So we'll add a pre deploy script. And the value of that will be yarn build. And then we'll add a deploy script as well. And the value of that should be gh pages. Dash D build. All right, so you can save that and then you can go back to the terminal and type git add dot and then we'll do another commit. We'll say add GitHub pages config and then we can do a deploy. 
So to deploy to GitHub pages, just type yarn run deploy. And this may take a couple minutes to do this deploy. And it may ask you for your password as well. If it does, just enter your GitHub username and password. All right, and now it's done. So we can go ahead and check out our web page. So go back to your repository and open up this link. All right, and you can see this isn't our web page. This is our readme. So if you go back to the settings, um, now that we've deployed, we have a gh-pages branch. So to see that, go ahead and refresh this page. And then scroll back to the GitHub Pages section and change the source from the master branch to our GitHub Pages branch. And then once that's done, you can go to your website. And it'll take a couple minutes, so you can just refresh the page and wait a minute or two for your website to be published. Alright, so you can see our GitHub Pages site is now published. So now if we want to make any changes, we can make those changes and then do a yarn run deploy and those changes will be updated in our website. So we can do that real quick to see that happen. So you can go back to the website and open up source app.js and we can just say learn react today. And then we can do another yarn run deploy. All right, now that that's done, we can go back and refresh our web page. And it may take another minute or two to reflect those changes. All right, and we can see that change. So that's how you deploy a Create React App website to GitHub Pages. Uh, once again, I'll mention that this repository is public, so any code you push to it uh, will be visible publicly. Uh, so keep that in mind. If you do have a paid account, you can make this a private repository. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, I want to see the web pages that you guys have made. So go ahead and comment with the URLs to your GitHub Pages site and share those websites with everybody. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next video.